Well, hello there. I've already prepped my face with Van Ule pre-shave oil. My razor today is going to be this Rockwell 2C razor, the gunmetal finish variety. And I'm using plate R3 on there. I don't know if you can see that, but it does say R3 on the bottom there. And my soap is going to be this over here. It is Green Mountain uh, shaving soap, and it is the Chia Ha variety, and uh, that has notes of spruce, bergamot, patchouli, sweet orange, ho wood, Himalayan cedar wood, uh, ling lang, Texas cedar wood, and oak moss. So that's the box right there. I have the puck on this pretty scuttle here with some hot water in there. Puck is on top of there. Also, you might hear some plumbing sounds. I'm in the new, uh, the new bathroom, the new apartment, but uh, trying to get things set up here a little bit better. Um, some minor issues, nothing major. I am using my Frank Shaving Polar Shaving uh, brush, silver tip badger brush, kindly sent to me by Randy Wright of Polar Shaving. Uh, that's the name of his Facebook uh, shaving group and the name of his YouTube channel. Thank you, Randy, for this. I've already lathered it uh, somewhat here. Let me see if I can get a lather started here. Put just a touch of water on there. I've had uh, good luck with this brush, but of the soaps I've used with this brush, uh, this is not necessarily the best soap I've used as far as getting a lather, although it's got fantastic scent, and it's my only new soap that I have recently. So I'm going to use this. I hope you're all doing well out there. And even with this soap, which I thought was the lesser of the soaps I have used lately, uh, including ones I've had for a while. Um, even with this soap, I got a great shave, and I did manage to get a pretty good lather. Um, I'm going to probably make this my go-to brush, and uh, hopefully next week really show you something, what this brush can do. I'm a little disappointed in this soap because it dries and dissipates a little bit. But I was still amazed the first time I used it with this brush. I'm, uh, well, seems like whenever I go to record a video, that's when all Hades breaks loose and things don't necessarily go the way I like. This is a 20 millimeter brush, by the way, and as, as Randy Wright pointed out, uh, it is a good kind of knot to have. He says he prefers the smaller knots on brushes. And yeah, I've had pretty good luck with this. Let's see. And sometimes it takes a moment to work up a lather with any soap and when I'm doing a video I don't always have the patience I like to have. I don't like to take too long lathering because I don't want to make the video too long. But being that <clears throat> excuse me being that this is a channel called conversational shaving I might spend a lot of time talking about shaving or other things that may not be related to shaving. My channel is dedicated to the lost art of conversation as well as shaving. But anyway, I'll go ahead and wet the razor here. Okay, I'll go ahead and get started shaving. In inauspicious um, introduction of this brush with this soap on the channel, but these are two of the newer things I have, and I wanted to put them on the channel. I shaved with this soap once, and it does have a fantastic scent. 
And yeah, you might hear water running and you might hear the heat kick on too because I'm keeping it pretty warm in here. It's very cold outside. And I don't have all my furniture back from the other apartment that I tried moving into. That means I don't have my bed. I'm sleeping on a big, a giant cushion on the floor in my bedroom. And heat rises and cold sinks. And even under some covers, it can get pretty cold on that floor. This soap, should you be interested in it, is available at smallflower.com. Maybe I'll put a link to that in the description to this video. Fairly mild razor, and I forgot to point out to you that in, in this razor I have a Rockwell blade on its third use. I've had good luck with those blades so far. And let's see, time to rinse the razor. You can see the soap is dissipating already. That is kind of disappointing. And yet, at the same time, I still feel there is some protection here and a certain amount of slickness. For example, without having to re-lather, I can still feel the soap, some protection on my face, even though you can't see the lather. Or you can't see much of it. And, of course, I am using a pretty mild plate on this razor. This is the this is the one that the Rockwell razor that only comes with well it's really one base plate, two sides of that plate which give two different aggressions. The R3 and the R1. This is the R3 side giving a little bit more aggression than the R1 or the R2 which would come back with the R4 or something like that in uh, one of their razors that comes with three plates instead of just one. Goes up to R6 on one of those razors. Excuse me a moment. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and lather a little bit more on my neck anyway, even though the soap offers some protection even after the lather kind of dissipates. I really, really do like the scent to this soap. It's a very pleasant scent. Very nice indeed. And a scent strength of about two and a half out of five. Or a five on a scale of one through ten. The scent is about right where it should be. It's not too strong. It's not too weak. And the soap is pretty reasonably priced. There goes the heat kicking on again. I'm sorry about all the extraneous noise, but um, the, the minor plumbing issues I can't help just yet. And uh, the heat, I've got to keep it on because it just, it's very frigid outside. And in my old age, I get cold pretty easy. I've used this razor the last couple of days because, um, well, it's, uh, I've been having such uh, good, close, and comfortable shaves, regardless of the soap I use, and using this very nice brush, and so forth, that, uh, that after 24 hours, I still may not have a lot of uh, beard growth, a lot of facial hair. In fact, it's been a little bit over 24 hours since I shaved. I am tempted to shut the water off in here, because that, isn't, that, that plumbing is making a lot of noise. Such so shuts some of the water off anyway. I'm done with pass one. I'll be back, and I'll be freshly lathered for pass number two across the grain.
Randy Wright, who gave me this fine brush that I've been using, he, uh, he says, I'm sorry, but I can't like William's soap, and I don't blame him. I've had many, many, uh, many, many bad shaves with the contemporary formula, not with the old vintage pucks that have the old formula, but with the, the new stuff that's available now. But uh, I got that stuff to work about as well as you can imagine. With this brush that I've been using, that scuttle uh, that I'm using this time, some uh, pretty hot water in the scuttle, and uh, oh, I, I don't know, it's, uh, it's uh, one of those things, I guess. I can tell you that even though the soap dissipates, uh, the soap I'm using today, it, uh, it's providing for a comfortable shave. Then again, I am using a kind of a mild razor situation here. And a blade which I like. A blade which seems to be, to me anyway, in this razor and using this plate, um, seems to be equal parts smoothness and sharpness. But your mileage may vary. <clears throat> From what I've seen online, there are as many gentlemen that like the Rockwell blades, I'll show you again, as there are that don't care for them. So it's kind of uh, six of one, half dozen of the other there. Let's see. These blades came with this razor, and I wasn't sure I would like them. And I think I had some other Rockwell blades which I had never used. So although I had many blades to compare, compare them to, I didn't <clears throat> have any experience with these blades before I bought this razor. Now you see, uh, so this soap lather already dissipating on my neck, and I still got some of that when I used the uh, current formula of Williams Mug Soap and this brush, but that's the soap. Next week, <clears throat> whatever soap I use, I would like to use a soap that's a little bit better, and then maybe you can see really what this brush can do. You may have some idea now. It still works pretty good with this soap, but uh, this soap, the only complaint I have is there's some, the lather dissipates somewhat. The soap has, I think, other good qualities. I would give it uh, high marks on scent and higher than you might expect on performance considering that it dissipates and there does seem to be an adequate amount of slickness to it. Okay, gonna pop out, come back, freshly lathered, pass number three against the thing. I was hoping for somewhat of a miracle with this soap, but uh, once again, uh, it does dissipate, but still somehow provides good protection, uh, all things considered, and fairly good slickness. Whereas the Williams, I got it to dissipate less than it normally does with, with this brush, which I'm very happy with, this brush and the scuttle I showed you. And I thought that the Williams, when it did dissipate, provided hardly any protection, but yet uh, maybe better slickness than this soap. Again, your mileage may vary. You may not want to even mess with this stuff, this stuff that these soaps I'm telling you about, and I wouldn't blame you because see this is dissipating already. Okay, so I'll start in the neck and I'll go against the grain here. There you may hear some feedback when the plumbing isn't trying to keep running here. Our maintenance guy is going to try to fix that. It's not hurting anything, it's just annoying, this minor plumbing issue. 
I don't want to go into great detail because it involves one of the uh, things in the necessity room that we generally don't put our camera on. That's all I'm going to say about that. I'm trying to keep my channel family friendly for adults and children, you know. And even though I have had a lot of blessings lately, all things considered, uh, I've also had some things not working out. I was trying to send Randy Wright, who gave me this nice brush, I was trying to send him some soap, and it hasn't even been mailed yet. And uh, I did manage to send him a blade. He just wanted one, one of these, uh, oh, I believe it was a Gillette 7 o'clock yellow blade. He wanted to try one of those, and... I sent him one of those with a nice little letter. Okay, uh, let's see, where am I now? I gotta rinse the razor. <clears throat> this bathroom looks almost exactly like the bathroom I came from, and a mirror image of the one that I kind of started out in. I have a new shower curtain and a place to hang my blue towel. Okay. Boy, does this soap dissipate. I hate that. But, well, let's see. Without relathering again so soon, I am still getting some protection here. But then again, like I said, this is a fairly mild razor. It's not the one I used to shave with the Williams soap. That was a somewhat more aggressive razor, and so, and hence, maybe that's why that soap seemed to have less protection when it dissipated. Excuse me. There are a lot of different factors. I don't have my TV here now, so I have a radio going in, in the living room. Or actually on the little ledge between the kitchen and the living room, the part of the living room where a table and chairs go, and I do have a table and chairs. I bought a new, used, but new to me, table and chairs, just so I'd have some place to sit. Let's see. Every arena in my life, except for my shaving, has been pretty, yeah, pretty rotten lately. And occasionally, even my shaving isn't what I'd like it to be. I probably should have used another soap on camera this time, but I thought, being this is a new soap, I thought I would show it on here, like I said. Well, I'll be back, and then it will be pickup time. Okay, everybody, what time is it? It's pickup time. There you are. That's right. The crazy clock tells us with its spinning hands that it is pickup time. Here we go. Uh, dissipation already. And I just put this, I just lathered the, my neck here. Comfortable shade. I think I, I, think I got a little weeper over here. A small one, perhaps. Let me rinse the razor. Okay. I hope I haven't been off camera 
or you can only see the top of my head or whatever. I'm gonna have to get another thing to hold the camera up here better. Try to get these trouble spots at least a little bit better. Feeling pretty good so far, this shave. All things considered, considering the dissipation of the soap. What a, what a sad thing. I don't know why this soap dissipates. It does lather okay. It's got bentonite in it. That's supposed to help it lather. I don't have trouble lathering it. I have trouble with it dissipating. I don't know why that is. I'm not a soap expert, but that is the one in my opinion, the one disappointing thing about this soap. I'm done. I'm going to rinse my face, rinse the brush and razor. I'll come back, dry off. Then I will give you a brief recap and put the finishing touches on this here shave. Here's Mr. Towel, everybody, to help me dry off. Ah. Hmm. Again, considering the dissipation of that soap, a really wonderful shave. I guess I'd have to say this is another DFS, darn fine shave, but not BBS, Baby Bottom Smooth. I've been getting those kind of shaves, go figure, uh, on days when I'm not making a video. That doesn't mean every one of those shaves is perfect, but, but I do seem to have more of them when I'm not running around trying to get a video set up. <laughs> not that I mind getting a video set up, I like coming to you all. I also thank you because I have top 200 subscribers. Now sometimes it'll go up and go back down and then start going up again, but I did reach 200. We're a little bit over, I think it was 203 last time I checked, so I thank you for that. Mr. Tal, everybody, also thanks you. And, um, <clears throat> okay. I'll begin a brief recap here. Before I got on camera here, I prepped my face with Vanule pre-shave oil, and I gave that plenty of time to soak in so that it didn't interfere with the lather. That wasn't why the lather was dissipating, because I gave this a good five minutes or so to soak in, okay? And, um, well, my razor has been this Rockwell 2C using the uh, R3 side of its plate, and uh, in there, I've had on its, uh, actually it was its third use, I might have said second, its third use, this Rockwell blade, which no problem with that, no argument with either of these, uh, certainly no argument with the brush, the polar shaving, uh, the silver tip badger 20 millimeter uh, frank shaving polar shaving brush. And you might be able to see where it says polar shaving there, maybe. This camera is not always the best in the West, but um, okay. And my soap, <clears throat> which I like in a lot of ways. Uh, this Green Mountain Shaving Soap, the Chiaha. And uh, let's see, I forget. Chiaha is the highest, the name of the highest point, I think. There's a little card that comes with this. It gives you the uh, history of this particular variety of their soap. Um, yeah, it's the highest point in Alabama or something like. Yeah, the highest point in Alabama. The uh, Chiaha variety of Green Mountain shaving soap. I like everything about it except for its dissipation. That kind of, that's too bad. It's, it's reasonably priced, great scent and pretty good performance, all things considered. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and instead of using some witch hazel, again I'm going to use one of these Everyman Jack Volcanic Clay Facial Wipes, which also have witch hazel and other good things in them. Let's see, how am I doing on time? I'm kind of running over here a little bit. I know I'll end up editing this for time, but let me go ahead and just quick, 
do a quick wiping of my face with this. Pretty good stuff. I don't know if these have alcohol in them or not. Sometimes I think I feel a mild sting with these. But again, no complaints. I am really sorry to say that it is just the dissipation of that soap that I would have to hold against it in this particular shave. Otherwise, no complaints. And a lot of joys, joys of the shave here. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and use something else that's new to me. Imperial Barber Grade Products, their Bergamot Aftershave. Alcohol-free, antiseptic. Cools, tones, refreshes, hydrates, it says. And uh, very nice stuff. I have enjoyed this. This has also been making my shaves very nice. Again, no complaint about this stuff. Very refreshing, lovely scent, no sting. I just love it. I do kind of wish I'd used a different soap on this shave because I feel like I'm not giving, I'm not showcasing what the brush can actually do. Oh, you might have seen that it can lather that soap just fine, but that soap starts dissipating right away. That is, that's too bad. Finally, I'm going to end here with uh, some of the Nivea Sensitive Post Shave Balm, also alcohol-free. Good stuff. Very nice. I hope you all have a good uh, week out there. I'm running a little late tonight. I, it's probably Tuesday morning already, and I usually get this shave done, uh, oh, kind of late sometimes on... Monday night, but it still should be posted hopefully around the same time and uh, Hopefully you'll enjoy this shave At least as much as I did I think that 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 soap I used if they could uh, solve that dissipation problem I think it'd be just a wonderful, wonderful soap, which I could recommend highly. But again, the only thing that, that was the only thing I didn't like about this shave, really. Hey, take care of yourselves. I'll see you next week, I hope, from the new bathroom, similar to the old bathroom. Peace.